There are two main drawbacks to learning guitar on YouTube that can actually hold you back if you're not careful. Welcome to Don't Fret Friday, a new series on my channel where I'm gonna answer your guitar questions each week. So the very first question in this series comes from Pranavi. Currently, I'm trying to teach myself guitar with the help of YouTube, but I just don't know where to start. How long should I do finger exercises? When can I start learning chords and songs? And what songs should I learn in the beginner stage? Let's start with how to learn guitar on YouTube. I have a lot to say about this because I have been here since 2009 teaching guitar and I have experience not only teaching but also learning from YouTube as well. There is so much free information instantly at your fingertips, but there are two main drawbacks to learning guitar on YouTube that can actually hold you back if you're not careful. Let's be honest here, YouTube is an endless mess of information. You have to do your own research, collect information, and basically build your own lesson plan because there's just no guide telling you where to go or what to look up. And that process can be very time consuming, especially if you learn something in a weird order or you miss things and it can cause a gap in your learning. And then there's the aspect of YouTube that's very distracting, right? We have the home feed, which knows exactly what we are interested in. So there's all these videos trying to get our attention all at once. And when you're there specifically to learn guitar, it can be very hard to stay focused because you're like, ooh, cat video. And this falls into my second point, which is you have to be disciplined because you don't have a teacher that is giving you feedback one-on-one, -on -one, like evaluating your progress and telling you what you can fix or improve on. Now, I just wanna be clear in saying that I am not saying that learning guitar on YouTube isn't possible or isn't a good resource. It definitely is. And clearly I'm an advocate because I teach on YouTube myself. But from my experience, when you are using YouTube to learn guitar, try to stay focused and disciplined with your time. This is actually a lot of the reason why I created my beginner guitar course. I wanted to have an organized system of exactly where to start to set beginners up with a solid foundation, show you what you actually need to know starting out, not all this like theory stuff that you can learn later. I don't believe that beginners need theory. It really depends on what you do, but most beginners don't need it. Usually the goal for most beginner guitarists is to learn how to play their favorite songs right away. So I just set up a system to make that possible and to show beginners smart practicing habits that they take with them past the beginner stage because the way that you practice guitar does not change. Whenever you're learning something new, you always use the same practicing habits. But if you are learning guitar solely from YouTube, get to know your guitar. Learn your basic major and minor chords. Start with easy strumming. Find an easy lesson for your favorite song. And please, please tune your guitar every day that you practice, please tune it up. This is one of the biggest mistakes that beginners make is that they just don't tune. They completely neglect tuning their guitar and they get their chords down, they get their chord transitions, they're strumming, but their guitar is out of tune. And I am, I'm, even if your skills are there, it does not sound good if it's not you. Also find a teacher that you drive with. It's like the same thing in person if you were to go find a guitar teacher, you want a teacher that can teach you the things that you want to learn, but also to have a teaching personality to where, you know, it's fun and enjoyable and it's easy to understand, it's easy to comprehend what they're teaching you and it's not going over your head. And there are so many incredible teachers here on YouTube that teach so many different music genres and have their own like little personality quirks. I feel like this is such an important one because the teacher can really make it or break it for you. So find a teacher that you just drive with. Second part of the question, when can you start learning chords and songs? Now, you can learn them right now. From day one, I actually recommend that my beginner students pick a song that they're stoked about and learn the chords in that song. Just find an easy version of that song to learn and learn those chords. I do have a core four group of chords that I recommend to my beginners, but my goal for them is to learn whatever song that they wanna learn the fastest, and that is the way to do it. And this is where the capo comes along. Like my saying, don't fret everything's okay because you can avoid those bar chords and get to playing your favorite songs much faster. Also, don't let anybody shame you for using a capo. I always think that's super lame when guitarists are like, oh, only real guitarists use a capo. John Mayer uses a capo. Moving on, finger exercises. How long should you practice them? As long as you want to. If you are really into playing those solo-y type of things, 
finger exercises are going to be perfect for you. But no matter what you are practicing, dedicate yourself 15 to 30 minutes to practicing whatever skill that is because at the beginning, your fingers are going to be really sore and it's gonna be difficult to push past that amount of time until you develop your calluses. Then when those little baby calluses start coming in, you can extend your practicing time to 45 minutes, an hour, and it also helps if you practice more consistently. So at least three times a week, 30 minutes, but if you can go more, even if it's just like maybe three times a week for 30 minutes and then on your other days, it's like, just to keep your fingers accustomed to pressing down on those strings. And also make sure you keep your practice sessions fun because it should be something that you look forward to, something that helps you unwind and not something that stresses you out. And the way to do this is to dedicate part of your practicing time to something that you want to get better at, but then also use the other part of your practicing time to do something fun, something that you already have mastered that you're good at. So that way it like helps build up your confidence that you're like already good at something, but then you're working on getting better at something and you're enjoying the process of getting better at guitar instead of just like looking to your future goal and be like, I wish I was there. The process is where it's at. So brew some coffee or tea, make a drink, light a candle, just set a vibe and have a good time. If you have a guitar question that you would like answered, click the link in the description below and you might be featured in the next Don't Fret Friday. If you are a beginner and looking for a place to start, check out this video where you can learn how to play something within the first 30 seconds.